Bonjour, this is John Bush from Armored Saint, and you are watching Loud TV, so turn it up loud. <laughs> First time in Paris? Not yeah, Armored Saint. Yeah. Yeah. So it was yeah. great. They were very, very receptive and you know, we it's at this point in, in Armored Saint's career it's we're not a band that goes on tours for years and years and months and months. We're just not gonna do it. You know, we we're not that big. The the truth is, you know, I, I'm I'm humble enough to say it. Um, but there's still people who care. And if we have a chance to go and play places in particular places we've never played mm -hmm. it's exciting for us you know because we never played paris so it's like come on we have to have some fans there mm -hmm. and it's paris so even if the show is not good you're still in paris <laughs> tomorrow and we're going to be in this little town in holland it's like yeah <laughs> holland's great don't get me wrong but you know it's not paris okay you know, as far as like the show might be excellent, but the, the, the city itself, Amsterdam is cool, but you know, when you're not in like, uh, you know, a place that has something to do, then you're just bored. And 30 years? 30 years. This year? Uh, well, it, you know, <laughs> technically, yeah. 82 is when we really came together as a full band. Our first record came out in 83. So, you know, this year or next year, 30 years, yeah. I mean, there was a break. I was, I, the band disbanded when I joined Anthrax. Um, yeah, we came back. We have a lot of friendship. We've known each other for years. Yeah, we can feel that on, the, on stage, you know? Yeah. Just happiness, you know? Well, we've known each other, uh, you know, most of us since we were like eight or nine years old, which is almost 40 years now, over 40 years. So it's pretty impressive, so. So this is the We have most a lot of history. Is it the most important in the, in the band today? I think it's important because there's a lot of bands that don't like each other, that hate each other. Yeah. I'm Names. not gonna, well, I mean, <laughs> more than don't, let's put it like that. Um, and, you know, look, I know it's a business for some, you go out and make money and this and that, but I, I wouldn't want to be around people I don't like. Like the Rolling, Rolling Stones, you know? The, Maybe the people in the band uh, that don't discuss the tune together. No, you know, it's yeah, incredible. It's, right? exactly. Well, Van Halen is another band that just canceled their tour because they hate each other supposedly. Yeah. I don't know this for a fact. It's what I hear. But you know, if you're going to be with people a lot of the time, you want to like them. I mean, it's like a job. You won't want to go to your job every day and hate everybody. It would yeah. suck. Yeah. So, and I, I don't, I don't want to do that. So yeah, we like each other. This whole time is all it is
times you think that you you have done uh, you know most of your career or you you think the the best is in the future well i mean look i'll say it in all honesty i think that people want to believe that their their best material is now of bands who've been around a long time and most of it isn't <laughs> you know oh it's our best record it's the best one yet no it's not no it's not but you want to go in when you make a record and at least believe that um and i don't want to make it if it's not if i don't think that we're writing good songs i, I don't want to do it especially for armored saint because it's not like this is a cash cow and it's like oh well who cares put it out we're all going to make a lot of money it's not like that so for us it's it's about like does this feel like quality music mm -hmm. if it is great and then once you make a record then you put it out and you let it go and that's how I, i've always said because you can't determine what people are going to think. Fans, writers, journalists, they may love it, they may hate it, but if you, at least when you finish it, go, that's great, that's the best I could have done, mm -hmm. then you let it go and let the chips fall where they may. When we were 19 and 20 and we were putting out our first couple of records, we were like, conquer the world, we're going we're gonna to be the biggest band ever. And then we realized that only Metallica is going to be the biggest band ever. Mm -hmm. But, you know, your vision changes and then you just say oh well i just want to love what i do and if you do then you do it and if you don't then you're a poser um what's the what's the the future for for the band i've heard that maybe about a, a dvd well we want we want i do i think making a live dvd would be cool because we've never really done a proper one where it's a show and filmed very you know not a bootleg, <laughs> somebody's camera, yeah. you know, so do it right. Um, so that's an idea. And, um, you know, I'm open to making another record one day. You know, again, uh, I've talked to Joey a little bit about it. Um, I have some ideas about a particular uh, style um, that I think Which would style? be fun. Uh, I don't want to reveal that yet. Ah, yeah, come on! No, but We are just the, the two of us, you know? There's nobody. Well, there is people. <laughs> um, that are just ghosts. No, okay. I just, I have an idea, but I haven't e me and Joey haven't even, you know, said, okay, we're on the same page yet. So, um... You don't need to talk with Joey? We do need to talk. Yeah? Yeah, we need to talk. If I don't talk enough. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, just to do something that I think would be... Um, again, inspiring to me um, and not repeating what we've done, but still Armored Saint and cool. So we'll see. I mean, you know, I think that La Raza, it, it actually was a nice step for us. So I think making another record is, would be uh, something that would be easy to do. So where do you find your inspir inspiration? Wherever. You know, music, art, Nature. movies, architecture, cities, you know, my children, whatever, whatever. And when John Bush is not on the on the road, you, I think you, you work with your wife now? I do. We have a business. It's her business. I kind of I kind of weaseled my way in. You can manage her or something? Not like really. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really. But I do help her with her business. And, it's a good, pretty successful business. It's casting um, commercials and mm -hmm. some movies she's casted, which is pretty uh, fun. And, um, you know, we have a good time. We're actually, we're very, very close and we, we spend a lot of time together and that says a lot about somebody's mate because, you know, people are like, oh, I don't want to see my wife or I don't see my husband. And we actually really love each other and like, like to hang out. We're friends. We go, you know, somebody said it one day, he's like, I want to be a friend with my wife. Like, that's why I married her. Yeah, which strange. I think is like, yeah, I don't want to be like, oh, the ball and chain, that's stupid. Well, divorce then. <laughs> what are you doing? You're wasting your time. Mm. And hers or his. So, um, yeah, we, we have a great time. And yeah, we have a, a little family vibe and it's good. So and I've done some voiceover work with my, some commercials and uh, they were pretty, pretty good run in America for a while, but it's, uh, you know, taking a little break, but is still using my voice. And, you know, I'm actually going to be. Um, I just got asked to sing on a video game for a couple songs, so I'm going to do that when I go home. 
which, so I'll be fun. Which type do you play on? I don't games? really. I'm not a gamer. I'm, I can't. I, I got to be honest. But um, that's your children. Dude. Well, not this one, <laughs> because this one Too was violent. Oh, dude, it was really <laughs> violent. I mean, great for metal, okay. you know. But uh, it'll be fun to do something like that because you know, again, it's something different. So I'm always open to that. Thank you, John. Thank you, brother. Thank and, you, Johan. Uh, see you very soon. Okay, maybe. Okay. Peace.